Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> hello everyone. In this talk, I will tell you how we exposed a business built on joint sale of two popular dual-use tools, Remcos and Cloudi, to cyber criminals, and how we de-anonymized the person behind this business. My name is Alexey Bukteev. I'm a technology leader at, uh, of the Malware Reverse Engineering team uh, at Checkpoint. <clears throat> and my colleague, uh, Ariel Stein, uh, recently has changed, uh, changed uh, his position. Now he is a software developer, also at Checkpoint. Uh, but we both uh, passionate of researching malware. Uh, unfortunately, Ari couldn't attend the conference, so I'll be presenting on behalf of both of us. Uh, but I need to say that <clears throat> Ari made a significant contribution to this research, especially in the area of open source intelligence. Well then, let's begin. First, uh, let me tell you a few words about Ghoul Order. Um, it's a well-known shell code based loader that helps, actually helps malware to bypass antivirus detection and uh, utilizes cloud services to store encrypted payloads. Uh, the core and distinctive feature of Google Order is a highly obfuscated shell code which incorporates a huge number of techniques to counter both manual and automatic analysis. To download the payload, uh, the shellcode typically communicates with a remote server or cloud storage, usually cloud, uh, Google Drive. Um, the payload is uh, stored encrypted using simple XOR, but with a sufficiently long key. Um, this is uh, likely why Google cannot do anything with it, as identifying such encrypted payloads is practically impossible because uh, they don't contain any P headers and anything that you can take for um, identifying uh, these samples. They are entirely encrypted. Okay. Um, uh, the shell code can be delivered encrypted um, either within a VBS script embedded within an NSIS installer package or stored on a remote server and downloaded via a PowerShell script. Additionally, this year, we observed a delivery variant using a malicious SVG file. Um, new variants of Gulloder emerge every year or multiple times a year. However, uh, we can always identify them by distinctive features of the shellcode. As the payload, a large variety of malicious software from various threat actors is employed. Since 2020, Google Order has been one of the most popular loaders. It's not surprising as uh, its developers consistently release new versions, achieving low detection rate on VirusTotal each time. In 2020, uh, Ari and I discovered the European company Security Code, which sells the product Cloud Eye Protector. On their website, they claim that Cloud Eye Protector is a tool for protecting executable files from illegal copying, hacking, modification, and analysis. In other words, uh, Cloud Eye is positioned as a legitimate tool for software protection. Um, back then, we revealed a relation between Gulloder and Cloud Eye, showing that the Cloud Eye produced samples are universally acknowledged as Gulloder malware. After our publication in 2020, uh, Cloudi suspended sales and claimed their service aimed to protect intellectual property rather than spread malware. We immediately observed a decrease in attacks using Gulloder practically down to zero. Within a few months, however, Cloudi's uh, website resumed sales. And over the past few years, we continue to observe a consistently high number of attacks using Gulloder. Um, however, the advertising for CloudEye disappeared from hack forums where it was previously actively discussed. Um, this actually led us to believe that besides the official website, uh, CloudEye is being sold somewhere else under a different name. We began to look for any mention of the CloudEye protector on the internet, and we found the Utopia project website where Cloud Eye Protector is uh, listed in the merchants section right after breaking security, the official website of Remcas Red, 
We found this interesting, prompting us uh, to search for other connections be between these tools. Now it's time to say a few words about Remcos. Mm, it has an official website, breakingsecurity.net. Uh, it's promoted as a lightweight, fast, and customizable remote administration tool. It has a wide range of capabilities that include common um, remote control features like screen capture, file manager, process manager, remote command line, um, surveillance features that actually can be used for malicious purposes such as uh, uh, keylogger, screen capture, browser history, saved passwords, browser cookies, and uh, also Remcos uh, provides access to the camera and microphone. Uh, it has many other remote control features, actually. As well as CloudEye, it is positioned as a legitimate software, illegal use of which is prohibited. As stated in the terms of service, uh, you must not install it on computers which you don't have explicit permissions to and without notifying the users that their activity can be monitored. However, together with, uh, with Google Order, Remcos takes uh, highest places in top malware rankings. It should be noted that non-packed Remcos samples are easily detected by antivirus solution. Therefore, it's difficult to use such Remcos samples for criminal purposes. However, Gulloder can be used to help Remcos bypass antivirus protection. We analyzed hundreds of Gulloder payloads di distributed in 2022 and uh, 2023. Nearly a quarter of all successfully decrypted Gulloder payloads were Remcos red samples. For comparison, um, during our previous investigation of Gulloder a few years ago, the most popular payload was Formbook while the share of Remcos was only around 6%. In other words, um, in 2023, Remcos became the most common malware distributed using Gulloder. As we will show you, this is not a coincidence. Video store and the protect, Gulloder's new guys. The marketing and sales of Remcos were first conducted on hacking forums and later sold on a dedicated web website called breakingsecurity.net. Starting in 2022, it became possible to find Remcos sales on another website, videostore.net. Videostore uh, was advertised as an official reseller of Remcos in the Breaking Security Telegram group by its administrator nicknamed Eminem. Remember this name. Um, at Video Store, in addition to breaking securities Remcas, you could also find a full package of tools for malware distribution and initial access, such as Excel and Doc Exploit, LNK Exploit, also RDP accounts, scripters, and so on. Such tools are positioned as educational. Among these tools, our attention was drawn to the Protect private protecting service. Um, this tool, as well as CloudEye, was also marketed as a legitimate tool for protecting software against crackers. Uh, Video Store also had a Telegram group called Video Store Group, administered also by Eminem. In this group, Eminem, together with another administrator, Video, pushed the protect whenever users asked for crypting service. Um, we should emphasize that the Protect was promoted by Eminem as a tool that helps Remcas bypass Windows Defender. He also mentioned that he uses it himself. When we examined the Protect's description, we noticed similarities to Gloder. In 2023, Gloder was dis distributed in two most common variants, an SIS variant in the form of Windows executable and the VBS variant. The same two options were provided for the Protect. Uh, by the way, uh, Video Store had uh, two versions of the website, videostore.xyz, uh, which is currently is not accessible, and videostore.net uh, with different prices for the products. And um, in the .NET version of the site, the Protect was sold at extremely high price of $7,000 for, for protected files in the 30-day period. 
Interesting that they stated, we reserve three days maximum to provide the protected software. This made us think that the protection process is not fully automated and um, buyers likely do not receive the builder that automatically produces uh, the protected files, as it was done uh, in the case of CloudEye. The, the Protect VBS variant. In one of the videos published in the Video Store Telegram group in March uh, 2023 by the user Video Store, they demonstrate an attack using an LNK file disguised as a PDF. In the beginning of the video, they show that all Windows Defender features are en enabled. Then they download an archive and run the extracted LNK file. During this process, a lure PDF file is displayed. Then we see the execution of the PowerShell process. Windows Defender didn't raise any alerts throughout the execution. At a certain moment, we can briefly see the command line of the PowerShell process displayed by Process Hacker. This allowed us to identify the sample demonstrated in this video and find it on VirusTotal using behavior search query. We just put a part of this uh, command line in the VirusTotal query and we found the VBS script. When we downloaded the file, we found that it is similar to the VBS variant of Gulloder we, that we analyzed in our previous research. We deobfuscated de the uh, VBS sample and managed to extract and decrypt the shell code that uh, it contains. This shell code we identified as Gulloder that downloads Remco's payload. Um, using the virus total relations tab uh, for the initially found Gulloder VBS sample, we also discovered a URL from which uh, the file was downloaded. The IP address from this URL was also revealed in the end of the video by Eminem. And after that, uh, we found the LNK file on VirusTotal that refers the mentioned URL. Now we can examine the complete attack chain. The attack uh, begins with a zip archive and uh, a malicious LNK file, clicking on which leads to the download of a Gulloder VBS script. Mm, from the um, virus total report, uh, we can see that it contains uh, two URLs, one for VBS and the second one for PDF. Let's take a look at the contents of the file. Um, actually, this malicious shortcut utilizes the ability of the legitimate script that is present in Windows uh, to run arbitrary PowerShell commands. Uh, this script is sync -appv publishing service vbs. Um, the command line arguments contain PowerShell commands to download and run the malicious VBS script and a PDF decoy. Uh, the PDF icon from the Microsoft Edge uh, browser is uh, used for uh, the shortcut icon. We can also notice the description field uh, which allows masking the file type as PDF. Uh, this is also demonstrated in the video. And here is the lure PDF downloaded from the second URL. And next, the VBS script places the encrypted Gulloder shellcode in the registry and executes PowerShell, passing the script in the command line. Uh, this, this is uh, the command line that enabled us to identify the sample and locate it in VirusTotal. Um, as mentioned earlier, uh, the payload is Remco's thread. We were also able to decrypt it and extract uh, the CNC server address from the configuration. And um, we can also see uh, the address of this CNC server in the video. If we try to search for it in Google, we may discover that this IP address is mentioned in the research related to an attack campaign targeting accountants during the US tax season in February 2023. Also, we found the Red Canary blog post that describes exactly this, the same attack chain involving Gulloder uh, that was actually demonstrated in the video by Eminem. 
In the Telegram group, there was a second video demonstrating another version of the Protect. In the video, uh, we can also see a command line containing two URLs. Um, at the time of the research, uh, both URLs were active, which allowed us to download the files. One of them was a lure PDF, uh, while the second one was the NSIS variant of Guloder that downloads Remcos. Uh, through the analysis of these two videos, we saw that the executable files protected by uh, video stores uh, the protect are identical to Guloder. In these videos, we found both variants of Guloder that we have seen in the wild. Most likely, these variants uh, correspond uh, to the types of protection service that one could buy private protect corresponding to the NSIS variant and script protect corresponding to the VBS variant. Uh, during our research, we questioned uh, whether the samples uh, we are seeing now are actually the same Guloder associated with Cloud uh, with security codes Cloud Eye from our previous research. Um, uh, indeed, uh, Guloder now looks really different, and the only thing the old and new versions still have in common is the core of Guloder, the encrypted shell code. However, this part also changed uh, significantly. To show that the analyzed uh, the protect samples is not a new malware and uh, has connections with uh, CloudEye, we used automated analysis to process more than 6,000 Guloder samples sorted by the date first seen and identified versions, different versions of the shellcode. Um, this allowed us to build this timeline of Guloder shellcode versions. Uh, we marked versions with significant uh, changes in different colors. This chart shows that with each new version of the Guloder shellcode, the number of samples of the old version was reduced. Uh, despite the applied new obfuscation techniques, we also were able to find many similarities in the code. All the facts allow us to univocally believe that the new version of Guloder, in including the samples demonstrated by VideoStore, are still the same malware whose connection uh, with uh, Cloudi and security code .eu we showed in 2020. Uh, this, the, 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 uh, this, the protect is nothing but widely known Cloudi protector, and Video Store has has brought together the sales of these two dual use tools, the Remcos remote, remote administration tool and the advanced loader encryptor, allowing Remcos actually to bypass antivirus protection. The person behind Video Store and connection with breaking security. As we mentioned earlier, the user with the nickname Eminem was a moderator of the official Telegram group of BreakingSecurity.net. We can see very specific artifacts in the videos posted by Eminem. Among them are custom icons for this PC and the folder Eminem on his desktop, as well as, as um, very specific desktop background related to Mortal Kombat. Uh, we can use these to identify videos created by Eminem. Um, let's now move to the video store group. Among the administrators, administrators sorry, of this group, uh, we can see two users, Eminem uh, with a custom title, Trusted Vendor, and VGO. Video and Eminem pretend to be different users. However, if we carefully watch the videos posted by the user Video, we notice the same artifacts uh, we found posted by the user Eminem. Um, also, uh, the videos uh, posted by the user Video, uh, in, in these videos, we see that uh, he connects via SFTP to the same server that appears in the video posted by the user Eminem. Therefore, uh, we think that Video and Eminem are either a very close acquaintance or even the same person. Now I'm going to tell about Eminem's real identity. On the forum dedicated to WordPress plugins, we found a user video store. This user published links to uh, two unlisted uh, YouTube videos that belong to the YouTube user Eminem. Uh, this 
and this is actually another confirmation that video store and Eminem could be the same person. Uh, the videos currently are not available, but we saved their copies and one of them is really interesting. In the beginning of the video, we see the Eminem's uh, desktop uh, background with Mortal Kombat wallpaper. Um, also, it shows the RDP connection to the machine video. But what we didn't expect to find was the contents of his Gmail inbox. <laughs> yes, uh, he was so careless uh, that he recorded his desktop for our 13 minutes and then uploaded it to YouTube, posting the link on the forum. Just a second. Um, in this video, uh, we can find his email address, expert.eminem at gmail.com. And, uh, just a second, oops, here it is. And uh, we can see uh, that Eminem booked a flight under the name Shadi Guards Eldin. And, um, uh, we looked for this name in Google and found his accounts in social networks. Um, looks like this is his real name. Uh, he actually didn't hide uh, his name and openly writes uh, that his place of work is breaking security since uh, 2016. Um, by the way, after our publication, he wiped most of uh, his data from the internet, including Facebook and uh, YouTube accounts. Um, knowing that Eminem's real name is Shadi, we can assume that the source for choosing uh, the nickname Eminem most likely was the song The Real Slim Shady by the artist Eminem. I actually apologize to the artist Eminem for constantly mentioning his stage name in this presentation. I want to emphasize that Shadi Guards has no relation to the real Eminem. <laughs> um, do you think um, there is something else interesting on the videos by Shadi Guards? Uh, certainly. Here is uh, another surprise. On another video, we observed the video store WordPress admin panel and the order step of both breaking security and video store open simultaneously. This way, Eminem turns out to be the administrator of both breaking security and video store websites and telegram groups. On the Breaking Security website, uh, they published a blog post uh, with their explanations uh, as a response to our publication. The key points uh, of this response are the following. Uh, their employee, likely they talk about Shadi Guards, also known as Eminem, uh, proposed to allow a third-party company video store to resell Remkas. They are aware that their employee was uh, uh, also helped uh, this company video store with some of their work. Uh, that's why he had access to the uh, dashboard of both sides. Um, breaking security has terminated all relations with video store as they provided external tools which could lead to abuse if used in combination with Remkas. Uh, the employee who collaborated with Video Store has been removed from breaking security. And they don't support Remkas illegal use and every single report regarding the abuse of their products is immediately investigated and the relevant license is blocked. And they actually provided uh, like confirmation of this. Also, all mentions of uh, Remkas and The Protect has disappeared from the video store website. Now it looks like this. It seems that our publication frightened uh, breaking security and Eminem leading the, uh, to the dismantling of this illegal business of video store and selling Remkas and Google Order together. We can find out um, how much video store earned um, because we have videos by Eminem. Uh, here is the panel that uh, I, I previously told you about. Um, the video store admin panel inc includes uh, visiting and sales statistics. Uh, the monthly revenue from selling Remkas and other tools was approximately 15,000 US dollars. 
Uh, on the Video Store website, uh, we we see that among the supported payment methods is the cryptocurrency USDT TRC20. Um, in Eminem's video, we can uh, also see the contents of his Gmail trash folder. It contains a large number of messages related to depositing and withdrawing funds from uh, Bitfinex cryptocurrency ex exchange, as well as notifications about exchange on the Russian website .com. Um, this again suggests that uh, Eminem could be the owner of uh, video store and could personally receive money from the sale of Remkes and the Protect. And um, here we can see a link to a cryptocurrency exchange request. The page linked contains his wallet address. Following this wallet in the Tron blockchain, we calculated annual revenues. They amounted uh, to 50,000 US dollars, but uh, this shows, I think, only a part of video store income. Uh, despite the creator of Remkas attempting to present it as a legitimate tool, claiming that they are against illegal use and um, they block licenses in case of abuse reports, it's evident that Remkas is used by cyber criminals. The problem is that the victim often doesn't know that uh, Remcos is installed on their device and cannot send such a report. Um, at the same time, Eminem being an employee of Breaking Security and an administrator of Video Store, was selling Remcos to people with malicious intents and recommending the protect service, which helped to overcome antivirus protection. We also found evidence that in addition to Remcos, Eminem hosted malware such as Amadei Loader encrypted with Guloader on the servers under his control. Addresses associated uh, with Eminem were also spotted in attacks using Formbook. These facts leave no room for doubt. Despite attempts to present the video store service as legitimate, the individuals behind the service maintain close ties to cyber criminal underworld, and we believe that they clearly understand that their main customers are cyber criminals. My presentation is uh, coming to an end. Unfortunately, I had to exclude some material from it. Um, it's uh, generally technical material, so if you are interested in getting more details on this and related researchers, uh, you're welcome to check our blog, uh, research.checkpoint.com. You can find the relevant article in Google by keywords, uh, Guloder, Remkos, and Checkpoint. And uh, you also find, can find the links to this and other researchers related to Guloder in my LinkedIn page. So uh, please feel free to connect and also uh, you can contact Ariel Stein. Uh, here is uh, his uh, Twitter account. So that's all. Thank you. Okay, we have time for two questions. Yes. Hello. Uh, when you first outed Guloder as being CloudEye, I think it was a couple of Italians that were running it. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. Did you ever find out and did they ever get uh, investigated by law enforcement? Uh, because unlike most of the malware we deal with, uh, which is Russian, um, we actually have a chance of getting them. Uh, sorry, could you repeat it a yeah. bit slower? So did you ever get involved, uh, um, suggest uh, this research to law enforcement, whether or not they could actually uh, um, find these people. And um, uh, regarding the video store and uh, shady guards, we uh, contacted uh, Europol. As far as I know, um, they took this information, but uh, I don't know what uh, did yeah. they do next. Um, I know just uh, that uh, we were allo allo allowed to publish this data regarding the. Uh, security code and cloud eye. Um, as far as I remember, we also reported uh, these data to uh, law enforcement, but um, this le led them to uh, stop the sales and uh, like post the explanations uh, that uh, they are 
like innocent and uh, just creating a service for protecting software against uh, crackers and etc. So um, now Cloud Cloud I and uh, security code uh, continue to work, but. Um, actually, uh, if previously we saw their adv advertisement on uh, hack forums and other underground forums, now we can't see this, and um, uh, probably that's why maybe they collaborated with um, other guys like Video Store who uh, resell their product under different names. I, I think, um, except the Video Store, we can find some other sources that uh, resell their product uh, because uh, even after um, stopping the business of video store we continue to see um, quite big number of attacks uh, using Gulloder. Okay, we're finished, thank you.